truly sealed. It's the hammer who wastes no time in getting down to the nitty-gritty. I've come to Horndean near Portsmouth to see William, second generation collector and dealer of goss and crested china. There's nothing I can teach him about this subject. They literally wrote the book. In fact, I've had a look in their price guide and I know what they say my little pickwick figure here is worth. The only mystery is going to be what they're prepared to pay me. John paid £25.64 for the crested china pin dish, and he's hoping William will find room for it amongst the 3,000 pieces he's already got in his family collection. I'm hoping, although I suspect it's not the case, you haven't seen this little piece before. I know you've seen an image of it, but um, there we are, in the flesh. What do you think? Oh, well, as it happens, John, I haven't actually seen this piece before. Uh, it's uh, straight away I could tell it's by the Arcadian uh, factory and this particular factory started up in 1903 and continued production until about 1920. What collectors look for particularly is condition. This particular piece is in exceptionally good condition. You've certainly done well, John. Well, I couldn't resist it. I mean, what, what's fascinating me is, you know, it's, it started out life in Stoke, it's ended up at Nantwich where someone's bought it and it then has found its way to Paris. But the nice thing is, you know, we've, I've brought it back here and with this little figure of Pickwick here, you know, to Portsmouth, the birthplace of Charles Dickens. So I did take the liberty of having a look in your price guide as to what you think this is worth. Now, I've seen in the book that you've got that valued at £65. So what would you, what would you, offer, me, what would you offer me today? I am, of course, buying to sell as well as you are. Um, so I'd be willing to meet you somewhere in the middle uh, and offer you £40 for the piece. £40? Mm, can you do any better than that at all? Well, given the condition the piece is in, um, I'd, I'd be quite happy to go as far as 50 £50, I would certainly, I would certainly take your money. John gets his selling spree off to a good start, notching up a profit of £24.36.